Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good. No complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, Kelly Kumalo trends for response to a Jup Jup question on podcast and chill with Mac G. Now singer Kelly Kumalo has found herself on the trending list for her remarks about her baby daddy Jup Jup on the Mac G's podcast and chill. It's not a recent episode so do keep that in mind it's just a clip that has been clipped and put on social media and has you know gotten the traction and is trending again so a user on social media posted the clip and captioned it kelly kumalo on hashtag podcast and chill i don't think about nonsense when asked about her son's dad slash lookalike jup jup mac g asked her about senzo and jup jup in a space of two minutes legend now the clip is actually from episode 195 that premiered on the 22nd of October 2020. <laughs> you know when I watched that scene with you and your daughter yeah. and she was asking where dad was that that was deep man that really touched me you know. Yeah. And 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 um what has happened since that that scene? I've moved on. Mm. Like I said. Yeah. I mean, Does she fair, still ask about her dad? I think a child will forever ask about their dad. The same way as old as I am, I had to literally fight my mother to know about my dad and to know about my my roots, who I am and where I belong. And it's, it's, it's a natural thing. Mm. I cannot run away from that. Yeah. Look, when it comes to the root side of things, I somewhat get it. You know, recently, not so long ago, my brother actually went through a similar stage where he wanted to know our father's side of things. You know, personally, you know, I'm not all that invested or interested. I mean, my father passed away a long time ago. And uh, at the end of the day, I've moved on personally. But I somewhat get it for especially, you know, those that do have that interest on the other parent's side of things. And how important do you think it is for your your son is Christian, right? Yeah. Uh, for him, for his dad to be present. It is very important, but also another thing is that person willing to be present, mm. because I'm not going to be the person who's going to push someone to be the father, present father that they're supposed to be. Mm. I'm not lacking anything. My son doesn't lack anything, so I'm not going to be that person who runs after people as if segmentless by ngeng imanje to do what is right. So you're saying his father hasn't reached out yet? No. At all? No. Wow. That's hard to believe though. It is what it is. I concur with Mac G, you know, it's definitely very hard to believe. But hey, at the end of the day, that's what she's saying. And uh, we've got her side of the story. She's the one saying it. So, yeah. Even salt does look like sugar, sweetheart. And if he does reach out, what would you do? It requires a lot. It requires owning up to the past mistakes it requires amending not just to me but to my family as well and mina ke khaya sihamba ngesintu ifumoshile khaya uzoyihlaba imbuzo uqolisa uqolisa ke imbatho uqolisa edlozini lakithi as well so it's going to require all of that the question is does he feel that his son is worth that and when I look at your son, he looks just like his dad. Do you ever think about your dad when you look at his uh, uh, Think about who? My dad? No, no, no. His dad when you look at him. Jeez. Like I said, this is a Kelly Kumalo show. Yeah. I don't think about nonsense. I live it in the past. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it from Kelly Kumalo herself. She does not think about nonsense. Now on the tweet, I saw a user come through in the comment section and wrote, but Jup Jup provided proof of him reaching to Kelly, so she lied about him not reaching out. Look, like I said, you know, during the clip, I found it hard to believe that Jup Jup hasn't sort of reached out or tried, made means to be a part of his child's life, but apparently Jup Jup has provided proof. I will put up my hands and say that I personally have not seen that proof, but according to this user on social media, Jup Jup has. But moving right along, this is the reason why Kelly Kumalo had found herself on their trending list. It seems like Twitter users are concerned about Kelly Kumalo's children after hearing her comments about her baby daddy in their particular interview. There was quite a number of users who were saying that singer Kelly Kumalo is making everything about herself instead of putting her children first. One user even wrote, Mac G asked her how it has been since her daughter asked about her dad. Her response was, I've moved on. When will she realize that it's not about her, but about her kids? Has her daughter also moved on? Does she even care? Hi. 
But yeah, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys thought about Kelly Kumalo's response to Joop Joop questions on that podcast and chill episode from about two years ago. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Kelly Kumalo dragged for DSTV comment. So sticking on Kelly Kumalo, she also got dragged on social media for a different reason. And this was for her comment that she posted about those that are saying that they do not know who DJ Slow is, the winner of the summer song of the year. So Kelly Kumalo posted the following on Facebook, If Gune DSTV Gini U DJ Slow Uzomazi, roughly translated is, if you have DSTV at your home, you will know who DJ Slow is. So there you have heard it from Kelly Kumalo. For those that don't know who DJ Shaw is, if you got DSTV, you will know who she is. But taking a look at the comments that came through on that particular post, one user wrote, Nzogeng Fagi DSTV Ekaya, Mshampe Numbula Liga Senzo Meiwa, Nzomaz. Roughly translated is, I will put DSTV at home. Maybe I will also know who the killer of Senzo Meiwa is. Another user came through and wrote as Kulumi nge DSTV's Kuluma ngomsagazo ukozila. Roughly translated, that user said, we are not talking about DSTV here, we are talking about radio, Ukozi FM to be specific. Another user came through and wrote, Selo kungakala njalo ngomeiwa. Roughly translated, I've been crying about Senzo meiwa. Kuluma wazi yomfazi? Roughly translated, tell us what you know. Back to Senzo meiwa over there. And lastly, another user came through and wrote, Singamazi ganja ni sipizi situngata ababulali bameiwa. Roughly translated is how will we know DJ Slow when we are busy trying to find Senzo Meiwa's killers. Yeah, ne, we in a new year, 2022, but it does seem that Twitter is still the same. Our next topic, Vusi Nova's Amapiano track climbs up the chart. So Vusi Nova has assured his fans that while he has ventured into the Amapiano genre, he will continue to cater to his fans who love his Afro soul music. Now it does seem that after months of backlash on social media for changing his name and also transitioning into a new genre, Vusi Nova has told the papers that he was grateful to see people who are finally warming up to his music. He is quoted as saying, it's great that people have eventually got the message that Vusi Nova is not going anywhere. I am also really excited that people have supported Shugu Shugu and the feedback from the fans has also been positive. Now for those that are not aware, Vusi Nova has changed his name from Vusi Nova to S Nova and uh, yeah, his latest Amapiano track is Shugu Shugu. And there is a screenshot of S Nova's progress on the radio monitor as you can see over there. It's right there at number 3. So yeah, definitely congratulations to S Nova and his latest song. Now apart from that, he also went on to reveal some of his plans for the new year from a competition for his Ama Piano fans at the end of January to new music and a tour starting in April for his Afro Soul fans. Now the singer said that he is grateful to have been able to withstand the trials musicians have faced since the beginning of COVID-19 pandemic but as lockdown restrictions have been eased, he was looking forward to taking over into 2022. Our next topic, a viral photo fuels Somizi and Vusinova dating rumors. So it's safe to say that fans are actually craving for information on who actor as well as media personality Somizi Mshongo is dating since his public breakdown of his marriage with Mohale Mdawung. But after the latest nude photo that Somizi has posted, Twitter users are wondering if Somizi has been seeing Vusinova all along. Look, at the end of the day, Somizi has never been one who has shied away from sharing occasional controversial pictures and it is definitely not the first time that the internet has seen his behind. And this time it seems like that particular picture that he has posted broke the internet only for a while because soon after he actually deleted that picture. But of course, once you post something on the internet, it never really goes away. You might delete it, but someone has definitely taken a screenshot. So a user on Twitter posted the following picture and captioned it. Is Somizi drunk? He posted and deleted this within seconds. Now the picture in question, as you can see over there. So Mizi Cape Town, Western Cape has got a couple thousand likes already. So Mizi free and uh, the photo cred, interestingly enough, is at Vusinova 1. 
So that is the part that has kind of gotten the most attention, the photo credit. It is credited there that the person who took that photo is Vusinova. So it is safe to say that Vusinova has definitely seen Somizi naked. Now Somizi did post a picture of himself in the shower and this time when he was asked about who took this particular photo, he said that the credit goes to an indoor drone. Well this time the photo credit was not an outdoor drone, it was actually Vusinova. So taking a look at some of the reactions on social media, one user wrote and Vusinova happens to be behind the camera, behind the behind. Another user came through and wrote evidence that Somizi and Vusinova know each other naked. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Another user wrote Vusinova must come out from the closets already. He sure does tap those cheeks. Yeah, now do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that deleted photo. And do keep in mind that this is actually not the first time that the pair have sparked dating rumors, their close friendship, and the fact that Vusi often keeps his relationships low key while Somizi is currently single has definitely had social media users sure that they are together on the down low. But apart from the speculations and the rumors, both of them have denied being romantically involved and they insist that they are just best friends. I mean, I do have some best friends and I've never taken my best friends behind naked picture. You know what? I'm just going to leave this here. And Let me know what you guys think of that particular photo that was posted by Somizi and then deleted moments later. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't, and binge watch my previous videos.